perfect one. Look at that. He's going to take some photos of it. If it's not going to the grave with me, it's going back. Hello. Hi. This is Kerry. And this is Kat. And, and we, we are T in, in Valhalla. You join us today in wonderful waterfall country. Yeah, and I'm so excited because we're going to go behind a waterfall today, just like in the Goonies. Yes, the fabulous Scooter Ira. It actually been used in a lot of television programs, films I'd, I'd wager as well. Uh, I think Merlin has been filmed in these parts. It's a beautiful waterfall and we're going to take you behind it today. Woo! And me, you're going to take me behind it as well and the boobs. <laughs> when the Brecon Beacons, South Wales. Southern Brecon Beacons. Southern Brecon Beacons, yep. yeah. And we're taking you to see the Four Waterfalls Walk. But there's lots of other waterfalls along here. And it's a stunning trail that's full of points of interest. Yeah. Hill forts, quarrying areas, there's yep. cave areas. Silica mines, a really important little area actually. So it's going to be good fun and I'm really excited to go behind a waterfall. And we started from, you guessed it, a free car park. Of course we did. We don't mess around. Cat will put all the details down in the description for you yeah, if you want to check out any points of today's walk. And also it's the time of year as well. We're slap bang in the midst of autumn. Fall is happening all around us. So the potential of seeing things like fly garricks, other fun guys, the beautiful fire kissed bracken, and just the, the leaves of the trees shedding around us as we walk through the woodlands yeah, leading really up to the falls. It's like really magical about autumn, I always think. I know there's a huge amount of mining gone on here. So there's limestone mining and mining for silica from the sandstone. There's a lot of sort of remnants that do look like old mining buildings. So, yeah. Ooh, gunpowder works. I don't think we're going to see that today, but um, maybe another time. <sighs> I was going to go off piste then. I was going to go off piste. Come on. Keep, keep moving to where I'm going to be going. Yes, and as I was saying, a lot of the silica here was mined out for lining kilns and for fire bricks and for bricks themselves. But the silica was so good that its heat resistance was revered. There is a steep and slippery when wet climb not long after leaving the car park. Bear that in mind. Oh God, he says nearly fallen over. If you do come this way, You've got the sounds of waterfall country and the rivers and the waterfalls down on your left. You've got this massive rock face on your on your right and all the trees creating a little corridor for you as you come through. Truly stunning. So one of the great things about this walk today is lots of notice boards, information boards and little way markers. Post number three behind us over there indicates we're in the standing in the in the footprint of an Iron Age hill fort. Yes, so it's right here. It's probably underneath all this. Yeah. But obviously they leave it because it prevents erosion then. Yeah. So if you leave a bit of scrubland, it tends How it's to protect yeah. natural protection. Textbook hill Textbook? fort. Textbook. Oh, Iron Age people. Yeah. Didn't they love it? Still working our way down towards Scuda Ira at the moment. We've got signs of heavy mining works still over on our right and the gorge is down there below us with the river running through it we had to stop i had an explosion my source water bladder popped and soaked my bottom can you see that? Soaked me. Awful. So, I think we just had to pour some into Kerry's, drink a load, and then turn it upside down because it's just where the connector. It's where the hose connects into the actual yeah, bladder pack. Ooh. Oh, now I bought that quite a while back. Cat will be sending that back with a strongly worded email. <laughs> 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 the first ever issue we've ever won. I tell you, if it's not going to the grave with me, it's going back. That's what's happening. It could be partially my fault, though. I did say we were going to get wet today. Via a majestic waterfall. 
Not from my bladder pack exploding in my own sodding backpack. <laughs> this gorge top path is really lovely. Really nice, well defined, very clear. It is a bit slippery and a little bit muddy due to that sort of limestoney composition, but it's really nice and clear. I mean, you're very unlikely to get yourself lost here. Getting plenty of signs of um, autumn now as well in the trees. So it's starting to get a little bit bare, getting a bit more colour. Oh, the yeah, the bracken's changing a fair bit as well like now. You're walking through a field of fire in some places. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what it is. It feels fiery in a good way. Because we're surrounded by silver birches, Kerry said, oh, is, are these the ones that have the flyer garricks under them? I'm like, yeah, yeah, they are actually. And then boom, he found one. And it's an absolute perfect one. Look at that, he's gonna take some photos of it. But is there more fairy tale fungi than a fly agaric? I Def shouldn't think so. Definitely not. And also for you gamers out there as well, you might recognize these from Super Mario. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. <laughs> We're leaving for the slugs and snails. I'm afraid so. There's some over here that's been slugged. They are a, a favorite of um, slugs, I'm afraid, yeah. So we've gotta go, gotta go. Kerry's moving me on. I am taking far too long. Mm -hmm. six. What's number six mean, boobs? A farmstead. Excellent. Rich area for livestock and keeping, you know, farmsteads. Oh my <laughs> Kerry, I love that. You know, keeping a uh, farm. Would have been a harsh, brutal place to have lived and... What a hard place to just exist, isn't yeah. it? Like, oh my goodness. It must That's have been... the word, yeah, hard place to exist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> apparently so. Number seven that we've just sort of walked past. Uh, this is called carving out an existence. And that genuinely was not planned on our last discussion. It just kind of came up as we were looking over the, the harsh sort of wilderness, really. So yes, carving out an existence. Map to it. You don't have to go down here. You can go off that way. We're going to follow this down here and then across, well, under the waterfall itself. Okay. I can hear that we're closing in on it now. I can hear that rush, that roar. And it's rained a lot recently, so I'm expecting it to actually be quite a, a full fall. And it's, uh, so its real name, Skuda Ira, um, translates um, straight into English to fall of snow. And it's 25 feet tall. So, it's uh, what, four and a bit carries, isn't it, Kerry? Four and a bit carries on the carryometer. That's my first glimpse. That's my first glimpse. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Wow. Uh, it is ridiculously breathtaking. It's hard to explain it. The trail, um, they recommend that you go back from here and don't go down this piece and under the waterfall, which obviously is understandable. It's extremely slippery, but I've got some good shoes on um, with lots of good ankle support. So I'm gonna go
I'm right handed so I'm going to keep my right hand free in case I need it very very slippery can actually feel the vibration of the falls inside you I can feel the air from the impact rushing towards me it's just so incredible These are finger warts. It's like a hidden world on the other side of the waterfall. Still quite warm at the moment. Back onto the trail, walking away from that ridiculously beautiful waterfall with this big old river running to the side of us now. So we're back onto steps. I'm dying. That's a lot of steps. That's a lot of steps. So we're going to go around here now. See a couple more waterfalls before we head off because we've got a bit of a weird way to go back. Yeah. We'll probably be going on the other side of the gorge. Okay. Walking around that way and back. Come on! <laughs> Trying to sort of eat on, the wing. eat on the wing today. So this is something we practiced over the years. Look what he's done to me. He's made me a sandwich holder. I popped my sandwich in Cat's hood. But all joking aside, normally they're in the hood of our rucksacks. Like a dispenser, like a Pez dispenser. Do you remember them? I do remember Pez dispensers, yeah. So yeah, sandwiches on the go today. And uh, yeah, utilizing our accessible packs and the boobies magical carry all capabilities. So the approximate distance from leaving the last falls to the descent down to the next falls is three quarters of a sandwich. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say something sensible. He said to me, let me speak first. I went, all right. So where we came from the last sign is you come past the next one and you start heading off downhill and that is your green path 
So it's on here, look. And this is where you'll see those two waterfalls. And I don't know if you can take yourself up there or you have to walk back. I'm not sure, we'll find out in a minute. Um, and the final waterfall is much further along the path. So here we go then, all the way downhill. Again, hella slippery, so be a gentle, gentle goose, little gentle goose. I love this walk, look, it's got boardwalks. I don't have to get a boardwalk, kind of thing like this, do you? Very nice. Feels rather posh to have a boardwalk. Normally all you get is a load of slush, don't you? So that's rather nice, well maintained, well maintained. I hear lots of birds. I hear lots of wrens, funnily enough. Kerry was being chased by robins this morning. They were overly tame, frighteningly so, he felt. He said one gave him the eye. So. With Cat's bladder going haywire earlier, it does mean that I am today the water police. I don't even want it! Drink. Sip. Have a sip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gary Armour's toast. Sorry. It's like some mad dystopia. <laughs> Come on. Stay hydrated, folks. It's lovely, isn't it? Closing in. Up there. Yes, there it is. Oh, oh, God, God, yes, love it. Yes, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's amazing. Honestly, ridiculous. They're like, well, just show us then. I will. Scaling water of Scuda Pana. And what's amazing is it's cut itself out nearly all the way up here. Look at this. It's all the way down. The tougher rock remains, whilst the softer stuff has just been eaten away. The channel gullied out. And it is just unbelievably beautiful. Isn't it great? Look at the colour of the... Yeah. There's limestone. That's where limestone goes when it's really worn down. Yeah, it's so simple. We couldn't help ourselves. We came down to see this uh, limestone pavement almost. With the water rushing over it, it's caused this beautiful pattern. It's such a lovely natural phenomenon. Oh! My God, that's slippery. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Kerry gave me the eye. Gave me the eye of what the hell are you doing? Oh dear. I better go, I better go, I better go. Come on. Ooh. Kerry almost fell then as well. So it isn't just me. Oh, bugger. Oh, ow. Oh, thanks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, Kerry. Don't get me in trouble. So we're just following the river up now. The next falls. I'm really, really loving it here. It's spectacular. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I know I keep repeating myself and I'm just out of superlatives to describe just how wondrous this place is.
Look, these pools. Grey wagtails. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god, that's so nice. And this is the bottom of Klingwin Isa. Wow. So it's the lower and the upper. But from here you can see them all. Look at this. So now we've got to make our way back up to take you to the top of the falls. So this way down, a friendly ranger, he told us, you know, this is a really beautiful path, but was a little bit unsteady and a little bit rocky and dangerous, but it has the best view of the falls. I thought, yeah, let's do that. Sounds cool, sounds cool. Uh, now we're going back up it. Wow. Look at that. Quite the carious points of this walk again potentially avoidable with all the higher routes and different different paths you can take Oh, this really is so much fun. It is precarious and stuff. So you do have to sort of bear that in mind, but how bloody gorgeous. Got this overhanging limestone, the gorge and the river and the waterfalls below you. We're on a teeny path. Ducking under said limestone. It's amazing. Magic, look at this. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Can't go wrong with it. We're now overlooking King Gwyn Iha. So yeah, following the white trail on that notice board, heading off in this direction towards hopefully a bridge that will take us across the river. down there, Kerry being mesmerised by said waterfall. Can't help himself. So we're on the other side of the river now, the other side of the gorge. So we're going to keep on walking now along here for quite a while. I have to check the map in a minute, I actually don't know when I turn off. But it's in a while. I think that was brilliant. 
real real treat a lot of in and out though isn't it in and out the, lot the valley of in and out a lot of up and down and a lot of slipping over <laughs> nearly slipping over yaki da yaki da clink clank to your good health good health so we're just leaving waterfall country now we picked up this bit of road we're heading back towards our car park be a while yet though a few miles still gonna be a few miles and then we'll find in this rock we're just heading back into the the car park now so this is the awesome dinas rock and a little treat for you when you park up it's right in the car park so you don't have to even walk anywhere to see this obviously there's about to be a climbing uh lesson or class take place it's formidable. You can see the, the fault lines. Just an incredible piece of geology. Majestic, isn't it? I love the ornate tree growing from the top yeah. of it. Oak, isn't it? Just up on the top, mighty oak. So that is us done today in Waterfall Country. Um, we've had a splendid time. I loved walking behind, you know, the big one, Sigrid. So good. Fantastic. That was so good. And then obviously seeing all the other falls, walking through the woods. Yeah, the whole thing was beautiful, but those walking behind that waterfall, like I was in the set of the Goonies, was yeah. just amazing. I loved it so much. So don't forget, if you've enjoyed today's walk, give us a little thumbs up, drop us a comment down below, hit the bell notification, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's a free way to show support for the channel. Yeah, we really, really appreciate it. Yeah. It's uh, really lovely of anyone who's ever bothered pressing that button. Thank you. It means a lot. Um, we love sharing these walks with you, and you know we can't wait to get out and about and take you on another adventure. So until then, stay safe and well. And keep enjoying those green spaces. Take care. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.